Hey, what's up guys? It's Combo here, and today I'll be showing you how to do the picture-in-picture -picture effect in Pinnacle Studio 12. So basically, what the picture-in-picture -picture effect is used for is playing two movies at the same time, or just a picture in a picture, basically, as the as the name calls it. So, um, it can be done with pictures and videos, like I said, and usually um, I end up doing it with videos, because, uh, you know, I make videos. So, um, basically, I'll be showing you how to do it first. Obviously, you need the two videos that you want to put in, or the two pictures that you want to put in um, together. So, uh, you want to drag them into the dock here. I have one with my Dazzle and uh, one here, uh, gameplay. And say I wanted to put the Dazzle video playing while the uh, gameplay is playing. So, usually, sometimes I would record my face talking. Like, if I did a live commentary, I would put that over the gameplay and live video commentary. So, you can see my face and stuff. Uh, I might try that soon, but yeah, so what you want to do is when you have the two videos in, you want to put the video that you want to be in in the picture, um, not the full picture you want that you want to put like in the initial thing. Um, you'll see in a sec, but you want to put the one that you don't want the main, the main one you want to keep on top, and the secondary one you want below. So... Um, so you just drag this down here to this, uh, dock here, and it creates a new video, uh, dock thingy. And as you can see, it's overlapping. You can see the, kind of see the gameplay in the background, but that's still not, uh, how it is done. So you want to go to this, no, you want to go to this one, the one that you want in the, in the gameplay. So you hit add new effect, picture in picture. Uh, first you go to studio plus RTFX. Picture in picture, okay. And uh, here you can mess around with it. Usually, you would see people leave it in the top right corner as the as the video game plays. Uh, this is the size, obviously. You know what the size is. Uh, make it big or small. Um, down here, you have cropping. You know, crop it out and stuff. Um, yeah, you know transparencies. You can see through it and stuff. You know all that stuff. So. Um, that's that's how you do it. You can move it to wherever you like. Usually the top right corner is where people put it, like I said. And uh, if you use keyframes, basically it's a little more difficult, but um, it's it's for greater results if you have the time. So um, if you want to do keyframes, basically what they are are for fading or um, making cool details as the, as the video moves. So say you want it in the top right corner one second, but in the next second you want it in the bottom left corner. Uh, what you want to do is click the spot on the timeline where you want it to be in a different location. And once you have found it, uh, you hit add keyframe. And um, when you have added it, you click on it. Um, two is the one I want to change. And you can change wherever you want it to be. I'll change it in the in the uh, bottom cor left corner here. And then uh, once... Basically, what happens is it will be in the top corner until you switch over, and it will uh it will go down to it will fade over to the bottom left corner, as you'll see here. That's what keyframes are, and that's what they'll do. If you don't want it to fade across and you just want it to jump, then you have to add a keyframe right before the second one, um, consisting of the same exact of the first. So it's a little it's a little weird with keyframes. They're always difficult no matter what program you use, but. That's the basics of Picture in Picture in Pinnacle Studios 12. Um, it's a pretty useful effect, and um, that's about it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, I would really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up, and uh, if you not if you have not already, subscribe. And um, other than that, guys, I will see you all later. Thank you for watching.